amusement park company that owns 11 different theme parks around the world. Today, I will talk about what each Cedar Fair Park needs the most for their variety of coaster collections. I will not be including California's Great America because of the speculation of it closing within the next decade and that I don't think they can fit so much in in such a short period of time. But let's get started. Make sure you subscribe and like this video to see more content just like this. Canada's Wonderland has many speculation to be getting something big for 2025, with either removing Vortex, the Aero Suspended Roller Coaster, or adding a Blast Coaster instead of Wonder Mountain's Guardian. I think Canada's Wonderland is really missing a good launch roller coaster. Sure, they have Backlot Sun Coaster, but you can find those at various parks, and this is arguably the worst version of that ride. So they are missing a great launch roller coaster in Canada, and I feel like that's where Cedar Fair should look with either using Wonder Mountain's Guardian or removing Vortex. Another possibility is Arm Seeing Mighty Canadian Mindbuster. Canada's Wonderland has three different wooden coasters but mighty canadian mindbuster opened in 1981 and it's time for an upgrade and there's not an arm scene canada that will benefit the country and the park i think the launch slash blast coaster will be the best option though because canada does have three wooden coasters but both ideas in fact will improve the park carowinds has been missing a good wooden coaster for a long time they only have hurler and it's not doing it for them it's time to take it down replace it or even arm see it if the planet snoopy expansion that we've speculated comes then carowinds should build either a new wooden coaster or rmc hurler carowinds has desperately needed a wooden coaster for a long time and we all hope it happens in a couple of years but come to reality folks carowinds sent out a survey for people to give feedback on the next roller coaster project with being a 300 foot dive coaster water coaster super flume or a family throw coaster i feel like the dive coaster shouldn't happen with fury 325 being a giga i'd like to see it it gave great views on the park and we also speculated this to come from last year but carowinds really needs to focus on water rides for having none and just imagine being there on hot summer days with no water rides they need a mock rides water coaster the most right now and not to forget about the family thrill ride it's a great idea and a great fit for the park indeed but carowinds need to focus more on their water rides because they have none and maybe in the future bring in this family throw coaster or dive coaster that's what i would like to see but as of now the water coaster works best Cedar Point really has practically every coaster in the book, but what can they improve on? Cedar Point recently got a family wild mouse spinning coaster, and I feel like since Cedar Point has so many thrill rides that they should focus on family thrill like Big Bear Mountain. What Cedar Fair showed on the survey would be perfect for something like Cedar Point because of the high thrill the capital of roller coasters bring. Not only has Cedar Point been every thrill seeker and enthusiast bucket list park, but they can take advantage of drawing in families as well. This would be perfect combining both thrill and family rides to attract more and more people, and it's the best fit for the park. Thorny Park just got Iron Menace, the first B&M dive coaster in the Northeast. People ask though, what's coming next? I think a Giga Coaster would be really cool. Pennsylvania doesn't have one, and it would be even more hype for the smaller Cedar Fair Park. But they already have high thrill rides, and I think Thorny Park needs something that still brings thrills, but targets younger ages. Thorny Park does have an intimate impulse coaster but i feel dorney park needs a family throw launch coaster like the one you guys saw on the surveys and will best benefit dorney also it could tell a story and be a family launch coaster with being so close to parks like Six Flags America and Busch Gardens Williamsburg, there's not much that Kings Dominion can do left. They are getting a wing coaster for 2025, and it is definitely what Virginia is missing when it comes to coasters. But after that, what can they do? I think a great ride like an RMC Raptor would be good. It doesn't take up too much plot of land and would be a great variant that Virginia hasn't seen and that the parks around it doesn't have either. An honorable mention to the flying coaster as well. That would also be a great coaster. There's not much flying coasters in the East Coast, so it will highly benefit Kings Dominion. But with them getting a wing coaster, it's very unlikely for a flying coaster as well. So I think the RMC Raptor works the best for their needs. Either way, both of those coasters will be a great fit for this park. Kings Island has a great collection of roller coasters. There's not much you can say they don't have. I think a water coaster would be good for Kings Island. Ohio doesn't have a water coaster, but I think something that would be the best is a mock ride to launch spinning coaster like Time Traveler or Ride to Happiness. I mean, look at the success those rides have, and it's not like Cedar Fair doesn't like mock rides with all their surveys having mock in them. I think this will benefit Ohio tremendously, especially with no launch spinning coaster there. Yeah, you can say Wild Mouse, but that's a family ride. Kings Island has the opportunity to make a high throw roller coaster that would draw even more crowds and one up Cedar Point. Also to mention that they just got of family boomerang so they should focus on something not in the state and a thorough coaster that would draw more people to their park this will be a perfect ad for king's island every enthusiast in their minds wants to see a b&m hyper gig coaster at this park me included 
Nosbury Farm does lack in the family rides with their lowest requirement height being 48 inches tall, which is considered a family coaster, but it most definitely isn't. Most little kids won't be able to ride anything, but there's no B&M Hyper on that side of where Knott's is and would be a great fit for the park that doesn't have many rides that involve airtime. It would draw more crowds and benefit this park even more and everyone wants to see it get built. Michigan's Adventure is the worst seat of Fair Park and doesn't give much love from its owner. They have Shivering Timbers, a very arguable number one wooden coaster, but after that, they don't have any good rides that complements it. Yes, they could arm seat, but that isn't the best fit. They are missing a launch coaster as well, but Cedar Fair doesn't have a good relationship with Intamin that does multi-launch coasters the best. Michigan's Adventure is missing a hyper coaster though, which I feel is the best because one, Michigan doesn't have one, and two, a B&M hyper coaster is known for being glossy smooth, good quality, and everyone loves them, which is something in Michigan's adventure needs right now. Michigan's adventure highly needs help to build this park up, but a hyper coaster will fit it the best and give it more love to this droopy amusement park. Valley Fair is definitely one of the parks Cedar Fair doesn't put much effort into. They have a great wooden coaster Renegade and some other filler rides that make it okay, but there's nothing to complement Renegade and it's missing a big attraction that could help the Minnesota area with the only other all right theme park being Nickelodeon Universe and that place only has five roller coasters. If Valley Fair were able to get it intimate blitz it would be almost perfect since this park is missing a launch coaster but sadly is very unlikely for cedar fair's relationship with intimate you realize when you're watching the video that most parks do lack a launch roller coaster but if they could get something even like for bolton that would be a perfect fit for the park and that in my opinion is what they need the most missouri doesn't have a giga coaster in the state and kansas city is a hit at the moment worlds of fun is missing that elite coaster that would just make it so much better a giga coaster Coaster, I feel will be the best benefit for the state and park. The state doesn't have a giga coaster and it would be really cool to see and it's what everyone wants as well. It will be similar to Kings Island for having a giga wooden and hyper coaster in the same park. This will draw crowds all over the world and make sure it's a destination. Also to mention with the World Cup in 2026 and having a stadium being out in Kansas City, it will be a spot when people come all over the world for this soccer event. A giga coaster is perfect for worlds of fun and will be almost complete afterwards period. But what do you you think every Cedar Fair Park needs? Do you agree with my statements? Let me know in the comments below and also what do you want to see more of? Have a great day enthusiast!